Preeti Krishnan, Periodontist at FMS Dental Hospital. We are going to discuss what GTR means and how it works. When gum disease affects the bones around your teeth, breakdown of these supporting structures will happen and one is diagnosed with having periodontal disease. In such cases, your periodontist will advise gum surgery with use of many additives which can help to grow bone or regenerate the lost bone. One such technique employed here is known as guided tissue regeneration or GTR. So basically, when deposits begin to accumulate below your gums, it gradually sets in an infection. If this infection is not looked upon, it eats away the bone, creating defects in the bone, lowering bone levels and thus weakening the casing which keeps your tooth in place. So for treatment, gum surgery with bone grafts to grow bone is commonly advised. In addition, you would have also heard the use of membranes in combination with bone graft. What a membrane does here is it prevents gums from growing into the defect and makes sure that the defect is only filled with cells that can form new bone, that can grow new bone. So simply put, GTR works on the biologic principle that physical barriers in the form of membranes can selectively include which cells grow into the defect and hence ensure complete bone formation, strengthening the attachment that forms around your tooth post-surgery. Today, we have multiple membranes available for our use. They are categorized as Generation 1 or non-resorbable membranes, Generation 2 resorbable membranes and generation 3 resorbable membranes with growth factors. If you were to compare these membranes, the non-resorbable ones are stiff, they have excellent structural integrity and are hence able to better maintain the space around the defect. However, they do have some shortcomings most important being, due to their nature, we need a second stage surgery to remove the membrane. On the other hand, resorbable membranes do not need a surgical re-entry. They are extremely compatible with the body tissues and the risk of infection or contamination is very less. Which is why you would find resorbable membranes very frequently employed for GTR. When there is bone loss between two teeth, such that 1. The level of bone on one tooth is significantly lower than the level of bone on the adjacent tooth. This creates somewhat of an angular bone defect. These kind of defects are very amenable to treatment with gum surgery, GTR, in combination with bone grafts or any other biologic agents. Two. When there is loss of bone between the roots of a tooth, that area which we call as furcation, these are also very good cases to be treated with GTR in combination with other materials which can prolong the life of the tooth. Thirdly, GTR protocol can also be used in surgeries that correct gum recession. In such cases, the membranes can help by increasing the thickness of gums. Secondly, they are also important to provide stability to keep gums in their new position. Treatment with GTR is a very efficient way of restoring the bone around your tooth to its original structure, original function. However, remember that GTR is a very delicate protocol. It relies heavily on your periodontist's skill, expertise and diagnostic acumen. At FMS, we have a reliable team of periodontists taking care of careful case selection and meticulous surgical handling to ensure that we provide our patients with the best possible outcomes.